This brush solved the one major problem that I had with painting trees. Let me show you how. After the month of making content every day, I felt like I needed to start fresh. I wanted to get back to making tutorials and to helping people like you improve their craft. A tutorial on painting trees was as good a place to start as any. But of course, before you make a tutorial, some research, experimentation and practice is in order to make sure that you're actually adding value and not reiterating everyone else's words. I started by analyzing the basic shapes of trees and trying to capture that. After that, I moved on to playing around with light and dark. To capture the dark, I was using my thin round brush and acrylic ink. It worked wonderfully. I could make thin strokes and small leaves and if I pressed a little bit harder I could make thicker strokes and if I angled the brush I could make a different type of stroke and there was just lots of options to choose from. It worked great. But therein lay the problem. I wanted these skills to be transferred to acrylic inks thicker, less viscous, older brother, namely normal acrylic paint. Now it is possible to paint these leaves with this technique with acrylic paint, but when you have a surface that has a little bit of texture, like a canvas, it just doesn't work that well. It's downright frustrating. I experimented with a lot of different brushes and although each of them had their own unique effect that they added, they just didn't really have what I was looking for. I could add blocky strokes, but then the thin ones all looked the same. I could make nice leaf textures, but then all of the leaf clumps are the same size. I could add smaller textured areas and larger textured areas, but then never do one thick stroke without its position being a little bit unpredictable. I was stumped. Do I now have to use 20 different brushes every time that I ever want to paint a single tree ever again? Then it hit me. I remembered a YouTuber. A YouTuber named Andrew Tischler. Now if you've seen any of Andrew's work, you might have noticed that he's very fond of what he calls a dagger brush. Dagger. Dagger brush. Before this moment, I just didn't understand why he used dagger brushes for almost everything. I didn't even own a dagger brush. I just didn't get it. But this gave me an idea and I immediately went off to buy my first ever dagger brush. This is possibly the moment that I have been waiting for. It worked great. I could make large strokes, I could make smaller strokes, I can make blocky strokes, I can make thin strokes, I can make dots and dots that don't all look the same. My problem was finally solved. But it doesn't help that you can now make the strokes but you don't know how to paint the actual tree. To learn how to do that, watch this video next.